I'm trying to think of the title of what to put. I made a work video. And what's in my mind is something to do with the arbitrary man point system. And it's, well, just going off this here, uh, the depth, imagine that would be hidden depths. I don't know, it's character depth. I, maybe I should have looked at that, but I already started this. So yeah, character depth would be something to look at for what I'm trying to do with showing different aspects of my life. And that way I can't be pigeonholed into just one particular role but yeah so i'm just giving some backstory whatnot um came across this shit though which i have to question myself naturally but i also have to question those that i'm ideologically uh or antistic and antagonistically i guess faded to to, to be opposed to, or to, we're not opposed to, but to run into conflict with. So this is like, this is, a, this is some bullshit too that doesn't even lead to TV tropes. It leads to some writer's blog and he says some decent stuff. I'm going to go to that. But it's a lot of, it's, it's not as good as concise as TV tropes. But anyways, the want is supposed to be an external motivation. But it all says thus they believe a lie. That's what they think they need to improve their life. Uh, varies depending on the character's social culture, socio cultural context and status, their backstory, their philosophy of life. Uh, the want is usually what sparked the what sparked the external conflict, aka plot. So that kind of goes with my previous video that I haven't uploaded, but I plan on uploading. I was just building off of um, the fall and the need being an eternal motivation, unknown to the character themselves. Uh, it's related to the wound. Something that's hurt the character and made them use the want as a coping mechanism actively haunts the character. But I mean, this, this is like I was kind of just looking for a way to define my video in an interesting sort of way, and uh, I'm just gonna go to the next one. And I came, I just sort of stumbled into this this need wound want fatal flaw thing here's that site this might be more of like a dynamic well i am the character i am but i mean as far as what the audience sees uh so it talks about the character's ghost which is the thing that the the thing that haunts them it's like a, a, a lie your character believes um so it's something that haunts them and there we go uh we're usually deliberately blind to our destructive behaviors or rationalize our actions to convince ourselves, rightly or wrongly, the end justifies the mean, uh, and end justifies the means. So I think the want, more specifically, in, in man is to be like God or to be God, rather than the need, probably, just being to follow God. Uh, and I got my own shit with this too. I mean, I psychoanalyze myself here, but like, well, actually, this is interesting. Uh, the ghost may take a number of forms. It's got here, including like an absentee father. So that's one thing that the manosphere talks about a lot. That it's probably true. Um divorce and shit like like the i don't know we they, that fucks people up it messes kids up uh and a lot of it is like a lot of it's the like this like it's a type of promiscuity but it's doesn't hold anything sacred uh, this is a bunch of shit you can ask yourself but i only got a few minutes so Uh, there's some other interesting ones. Oh, okay, characters as, as device. And then that's interesting because there's also characterization tropes, which the plot serves the establishment of the character. So that can go a number of ways. And, and then char characterization, like, it seems like that's external dictating the inward. 
which is what a lot of religion does, but essentially... Well, then there's also the plot serves the establishment of the character. I mean, if man is trying to be like God, and he's trying to direct the plot, the plot's going to be like, he's going to verify that. And then the plot is also, well, women, you know, women shouldn't vote. Uh, a, fa a household a, a household should get one vote, and it should be the man, the father, the father's vote. Like, it's just, I just remember all this shit, too. Like, like there's just so much bullshit with this this idea of, the infallible father. Like, like we do need stepfathers to like not be absentee and all that sort of stuff, and need uh you know don't be going out and having like a whole fuck ton of kids, and not have from different daddies or whatever. Like, and I, I can't even criticize so much because we're all like fucked up in our own ways, but society wise, like there's a there's a need to not have society uh become as as one of the other guys one of the other guys I I I've been following lately he compares uh the, our our country and culture to like Sodom and Gomorrah and Babylon and I, that that I feel is a is an honest acceptable assessment you know you don't got to go like full misogynist to 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 realize that we're in some bad times uh, so I guess there's learn humility and compassion. It's funny it's tied with Thor, which is I don't know Thor is really masculine, but not. Uh, for me, like as beloved for who he is, like that's that's something I probably need. But there was a a thing back at the round character, or whatever it was. Saying that the one of the outcomes to the story, when those three things are put together, could be more of a tragic end. You know, it doesn't always end the happy, especially if you're converting it over to real life. Um, I like the flat character because that's kind of what a lot of trans people are. They become flat characters, and then I seen rescued from the scrappy pile. Or else, rescued from the scrappy heap, which is like like trans people are, are becoming scrappy in the sense that uh, they're. I I didn't hate that character, but I know a lot of people don't like. I don't even remember his name from fucking Star Wars. This is the character that everybody fucking hates, and they bring it upon themselves. Uh, but this ensemble dark horse. Oh no, rescued from the scrappy heap. Okay, so it's like... Well... Anyway, I looked at... Oh, reimagining the artifact too, because... I remember the artifact of attraction. So, you know, reimagining the artifact too could also be like the... Uh, the apple, the an Eden, the fruit. Um... Okay, so yeah, so the ensemble dark horse is like the best case scenario for the scrappy, which is like, like, like no, like, like people aren't like fucking cool with uh, you know, men competing with women and swimming and contests in the Olympics and then taking like taking their shit. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, just breakout characters, all sorts of cool shit here. Uh, unpopular, popular character. I don't know. I might go for that. Oh, just remove the unconventional traits. Like, it says, don't, if you do that, it just kind of make them into a clone. So don't do that. This is a, re this is a um, reconstruction. An evolving trope. Uh, how a long runner uh, can come back. The long runner is, is something that's persisted for a long time. And our creation of myths and whatnot. So it's like our religions and whatnot. Uh, shit. Like, fuck, man. Time goes by fast in doing this. I had some other shit to complain about, but not really complain about, really critique. The fact that, like, I, I try to figure out how to title something and I'm looking it up and it's just, like, all stupid shit that comes up. 
as far as people seeking validation, like men seeking validation from women and women seeking validation from men instead of just validating themselves.